Ex-Labor MP Tanya Mihalik in an exclusive interview last night dropped a few bombs on Labor as she heads over to One Nation. The inference is clear. Western Sydney's culturally diverse communities aren't too happy with Labor's woke. Look at the way Labor was rejected in the safe seat like Fowler, now held by Di Lee. Tanya Mihalik spent 27 years as a Labor Party member, but the party, has, she says, has changed enormously and she just couldn't stay. Have a look. The party that I joined 27 years ago is not the party or the same party today. Uh, it is now a party that's completely controlled by the extreme left. They can see that the party uh, absolutely isn't paying any attention to South West or Western Sydney. Uh, there have been no policies announced by Chris Minns or indeed by um, his front bench that are of any value or interest to people in South West or Western Sydney. Well, joining me now, Queensland Liberal Senator Paul Scar. I mean, Paul Scar, great to see you always. I know you're busy in the multicultural communities. Now, Tanya Mihalik, uh, you know, she was a Labor frontbencher until a couple of months ago. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, she was a you know, shadow cabinet minister. Yeah, so, I mean, how do you react to her observations? Well, I can see the same things happening on the ground here in Queensland, Gary. Yeah. And the modern-day Labor Party is increasingly becoming disconnected from what would have in the past been considered traditional Labor areas. Yeah. And we're seeing that in Queensland and also within a lot of the multicultural communities who are coming to realise that the values of the modern day Labor Party don't align with their values. Yeah. And of course, so many of them are faith based. I mean, a lot of these people have come from Central America, the Philippines, I mean, the Islamic communities, they're all heavily geared around their churches. Oh, absolutely. Our wonderful Pacific Islander communities, yeah. a very, very strong, devout Christian community in, in Queensland. And Remember this, Gary, a lot of these multicultural communities, they've come from places where they were persecuted yeah. because of their religious beliefs. And I'm conducting three Australian citizenship ceremonies on Australia Day, as, on. as you used to do. Yeah. And many of those people becoming Australian citizens would have come to this country because they were fleeing religious persecution. And I don't think the modern-day Labor Party gets it. So how do these people feel? I mean, they've come to Australia, as you said, they want a safe haven. Yep. In fact, I've had some say to me, they thought God was here, but they see us turning away, we're going woke. I mean, how do they feel? Well, I, I think they're feeling disconnected from the modern day Labor Party. And a lot of the time, the modern day Labor Party treats them tokenistically. Like they will, they'll come and visit events, say some nice things, but in terms of throw actually... Throw a few grants at them. Throw a few grants at them. <laughs> but in terms of connecting with the communities, yeah. connecting on a value basis, a values basis, they're just not doing it. And we're seeing now the manifestations of that. So respect for the elderly, uh, wanting to nurture the young. Family is so important. Family is so important. Education is so important. And as you say, in many of these communities, uh, Muslim communities, Hindu communities, Buddhist communities, Christian communities, from places like the Pacific Islands, yep. places in Africa as well, the family unit and their faith is so important. Yeah. And there's a disconnect with the modern-day Labor Party. And yeah. it's up to my side of politics for the Liberal Party, the National Party, to connect, go out to these communities, because once they meet us and they talk to us, get to know us, then they realise our values are their values. So they want a job. I mean, they're, they're the last people to get a job often, the migrant groups, uh, they want a job. The jobs are so important. Absolutely. Jobs are so important. But then, and we've seen that. We've seen it with our Italian community, our Greek community, our Vietnamese community, yeah. uh, that once they get that opportunity, they work so hard. Yeah, they, they make the most of every single opportunity in this country. And from my perspective, those are my values and those are their values. So let's talk about the regions, because you're a senator for the whole state. So investing in the regions, do you think that the culturally diverse communities would go out there and do stuff that maybe Australians otherwise, the other Australians wouldn't do? Well, look, I think a lot of them actually are already. And in towns like Dalby, yep. uh, there is a, a very diverse multicultural community that's working hard. Yeah. And I've met some immigrants who've come to this country literally with nothing. They've done the hard yards. In, in some rural communities because they saw the opportunity. So we have to do better, I think, connecting our multicultural communities with those regional opportunities. Yeah, there definitely needs to be some better settlement services out in the regions as well. The jobs are there. Put the water, the power, the roads, the rail, all Absolutely. the infrastructure and watch the people come, I say. Absolutely. I agree. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, good on you, Paul Scar, for the work you're doing. I've seen you do it. He does a great job. Uh, there's no doubt about it.